I can honestly say that I think Apple Fitness Plus is the best fitness app for 2021. And in this video, I'll share with you my reasons why. What's up guys, it's your boy Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Getting right to it, one of the main reasons why I love Apple Fitness Plus is number one, workout variety. You can choose between nine different types of workouts, whether it's strength, yoga, cycling, dance, core, mindful cool down, they literally have everything. They also added a new feature called Time to Walk, which is a guided walk where influential people will tell you stories or have conversations that you can listen to about relevant things that are going on in our world right now. They have people like Bubba Wallace and Draymond Green talking about racial inequality. They have Ruby Bridges, Anderson Cooper. It's something just so well thought out, especially to make walking so much more fun. Something else that I also love is that all the workouts are updated on a weekly basis, and you could choose between the different types of workout links, whether you want 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, however much time that you have available. The workouts themselves also range from a variety of fitness levels, whether you're a beginner or maybe you're a little bit more experienced. Even during the workouts themselves, they have a trainer who's doing more advanced moves, and then the other who is doing moves that are a little bit more scaled down and more accessible. Fitness Plus also makes it extremely easy to stack your workouts on top of each other. For example, they'll automatically recommend you do a mindful cool down after you have a tough workout. I personally love pairing my strength and hit workouts with a 10 minute core and a mindful cool down to wrap up the hour. And I'll be straight up, the workout options from Apple Fitness Plus have been a great way for me to keep in shape while I still continue to work from home. And once I get back to the gym, I definitely think I'm gonna try out cycling or rowing classes because I don't have that in my current New York City apartment. The second biggest reason why I recommend using Apple Fitness Plus is the seamless integration across all Apple products. You can activate the app from your iPhone, your iPad, and Apple TV, but all the magic happens within the Apple Watch, where it basically tracks and syncs all of your workout data. During the workouts themselves, you can actually see your health metrics on screen in real time. So you could see your activity ring progress, your heart rate, and also your calories burned. And each of these metrics will enlarge when the trainer mentions them. Fitness Plus also works really well with Apple Music. Each workout is paired with a specific workout playlist chosen by the fitness instructor. And there's a lot of variety here like hip hop, dance, rock, and even throwback hits. And what's cool is afterward, you can actually save down either the song or the playlist that you like the best. And then once the workout is complete, you can share the completed workouts with your friends and everything gets saved into your overall health metrics within your Apple Health. Having everything be completely seamless makes it super easy to just start a workout, get going without having to go between different apps and link different accounts and programs. It's just easy. The third thing I love was Apple paid attention to the details and the little things such as a burn bar, which is an indicator of how much effort you're putting in compared to other people who are doing the same workouts. The instructors incorporate sign language before and at the end of workouts. This past February, they highlighted Black History Month by making playlists inspired by black artists. Even the trainers themselves come from diverse backgrounds and different ways of life, with one of the trainers being in the beginning stages of pregnancy and the other having a prosthetic leg. They just paid attention to inclusivity and diversity. Now, what did I I not like? Well, I think the strength and hit workouts, I wish they could be more than 30 minutes, like maybe pushing to 45 or 50. And I also think I wish I could choose my own music rather than just having to be forced to listen to what they wanted me to. And of course, it's only on Apple. So sorry, Android users. But in the grand scheme of things, I think these are very, very minor. And I think what the app provides in times like these is just super important. If you want something that isn't super intimidating, easy to stick to, and something that you can actually enjoy doing every week, I think Apple Fitness Plus is the app for you. It's simple to use, has quality workouts, and seamlessly works with the whole Apple Health ecosystem. And the great thing is, it's really not even that expensive. It starts at $9.99 a month, or you could choose the annual option for $79.99. I actually think you get a 30-day free trial if you haven't used it yet, or you can get three months free if you purchase an Apple Watch Series 3 or later. I definitely recommend you try it out, and I promise you, you won't regret it. So question of the day, have you tried Apple Fitness Plus before? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, stay healthy, stay productive, and you already know, embrace the hype. Woo!